Uniform Guy here, and this is the Nemislo Maxian Pack by JMZ on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Georgia Farms map. This is 10.63 megabytes to download for and fly five, five, five slots on console. This is going to be found under Tools and Mulchers, but this is a multi-use. As we'll talk about in a moment, we have the Maxian FB245 and the Side 245. 90 and 110 horsepower recommended. 2.5 meter working width, 7 miles per hour for each one. So, as you notice here, configuration is mulcher or mower. So we have a choice. And I have tested both. Reflectors, yes or no. And main color blue or blue as you can see there. So you can also notice that we have um, equal attachments on either side. So we'll, uh, we'll show you that in a moment. The other one is quite, uh, quite obviously a uh, mo behind or uh, behind version of this mower and mulcher, mulcher and mower as well, and blue or blue, no warning signs are available right all right so let's let's just hop in here and hook them up first and then we'll go off to the field and i'll show you a couple of problems i have encountered uh with this particular model in particular and uh one thing i've noticed right away is when you buy it from the store like this it's kind of sagging but that's easy to uh, remedy. Uh, we just lift the mower and there she is. So now when we lift or lower, it will do this. Now there is also the option to L1 and X and fold it for transport, for ease of transport. All right, let's go back down. Once it's down, we also have another option to L, uh, L1 and right stick right and left and we can adjust the um, I didn't say working width because the width stays the same but you can choose to have it more to the side or centered more centered not always centered to um, maybe you're mowing the side of a fence line or something so this could become or could be quite handy and that's it for that. So we're going to show that off in both of its configurations, mowing and mulching. We also have the uh, the other version, which is uh, attached like so. They're both three-point. And we have lower and raise. Now, once it's lowered, even though it's not turned on, you are restricted to seven miles per hour, just so you know if it's turned on or not if it's not turned on it's still restricted to seven miles per hour but you're not actually doing anything so just be remember to lift it when you're traveling or want to uh, turn around and such things we also have an adjustment l1 and right stick left and right we can adjust it from side to side now it's also um, possible to attach it to the front like so and you can have it as a front mower now I did not test um, this option out in the field but we can go and look at that right now this is the mulcher configuration so let's just take a look over here uh, this has all been mulched I set the worker off. He's been he's done a fine job. I have it hooked up to a little John Deere over here. And he's done actually a very fine job of mulching. Uh, you see that over there. We'll talk about that in a moment. Alright, so let's hire a worker right here. And as you can see, it's in the front mount configuration. I haven't tested in the front mount yet, so this is a little bit new. We'll see what he does. 
In the rear mount, uh, there wasn't any issues whatsoever, and the worker did a fine job. Now let's see what's going to happen here. Is he going to do anything weird? A little bit of a crooked beginning to the field entry, but other than that, it looks just fine. If we hop over here, now, as you can see, we can adjust this whichever way we like. And let's turn him around and see what he does when you move the mulcher, because sometimes that messes up the workers and they're not quite sure where to line up when you do that because um, the, the, the working area has changed. So here we go, he should turn right because the other side is mulched. And they do go right to the end, so there isn't any missed bits. And as we see him turn around, looks all good, and they line up in the proper position. And away he goes. Very nice. So, the um, that particular model works fine. Now, if we just uh, staying within that vein, we have sorry. We have the mower, and actually, uh, as you can see here, he's been mowing his little heart out. And um, we'll just show you it mowing here. So, um, pretty normal as a mower. Just make sure you have it, you know, configured to mowing. If you're going to mow with it, and not mulching, because mulch, it's, it'll do something obviously different to your grass field, you won't get any grass. You just kind of make it go away and then it will give you a, uh, it should give you a state of fertilization. All right, so there you go. The mower configuration also works just fine. All right, on to uh, let's go to the mulcher, and as you can see here, uh, Houston, we have a problem. Now, I have tried this in both configurations, like um, the in tight and far away, and unfortunately, with this piece of equipment, um, the worker is not quite... Um, lined up when he goes to turn around so if you're using this particular model as a mulcher and you use mo or use um, workers he also misses that little bit at the end so I'm not sure if that's what's throwing him off now we I know um, some have said in the past well you have to do a head lens and actually sometimes that does help but you can see here uh, he has missed that spot so let's for argument's sake and it is a little bit heavy so it still does work but um, probably a front weight would be recommended okay, stop I just wanted to lift it and I hired a worker. It's one of those days. All right, so let's just try this once more. Uh, and let's, let's for, um, again, for um, purposes of testing, we'll put it to the furthest outward and hire a worker. Now this isn't an exhaustive test but it just kind of shows you, yes, I did do a headline. He still did miss that spot. And he's going to turn around. And we'll see, well, where he ends up. And it looks like, looks like he's lining up as if it was the other mulcher mower unit. And not one that went out the side. Because he's lining up perfectly 
his wheels to what was mulched, but as you can see there, um, he missed again. So, um, grass, the mower version. Now, as you can see here, this one is out all the all the way to the side. Um, oh yes, another thing is, let's see if he still does this. The other, the other mower, he kept mowing the grass even though the grass was already mowed. He just kept going, and let's see if he's, yeah, he's going to just keep going as well. So I don't even think, <laughs> um, doing a headland is going to do much, but we'll start him off over here. I did do a headland up across the top of the field up over there. And actually this this is going to be interesting because there's not Let's see what he does. He's going to come around. Actually he's looking like he might be lining up. Okay. Yeah, so in the grass configuration, it may or may not work for you. I've had both results. It looks like he's done okay here, but definitely uh, when mulching, it's a bit of an issue. So, um, the, other than other than the worker issue, which is one out of everything else works fine um, it seems um, and as a matter of fact um, just having this uh, the worker work uh, this model when when in either con you know position whether it's out out that way or out this way they still line up so that's impressive as it is uh, the issue here might just need a little bit of an update for the worker but other than that, they all, they work just fine, uh, of course, if you are using it manually. But um, it cuts the grass and it mulches the stuff you want to mulch. So there you have it, the Nemislo Maxian Pack by JMZ on Farming Simulator 22. Thank you all for watching, and remember, it's only a game, so till the next one, bye for now.